Director of the Urban Native. Today, I will be talking about the value of cultural storytelling through design and its significance in our work. I run a furniture design and manufacturing studio in Johannesburg, and we have a workshop in Kempton Park. We retail our products both locally and internationally through various retailers. A bit about our background, the Urban Native launched in 2016. We have been honored to be part of 2017 Design Endeavor class of emerging creatives. We, are, we were also honored um, to be nominated by the South African interior designer, Donald Numalo for the 2019 Design Endeavor Most Beautiful Object in South Africa for Anenzima Desk. And our most recent milestone has been part of winning part of the winning duo for the 100% Design Essay Design of the Year Award with Tabisam Joe of Mashti Design Studio. I would like to take this opportunity to thank 100% Design Essay, its partners and sponsors for the opportunity to share a bit of our story and why we do what we do. As a studio, we are passionate about the significance and relevance of culture in modern societies. We truly believe in the idea of preserving African cultures and heritage, heritage through design, which is why we do what we do. As a furniture studio inspired by African heritage, we are focused on constantly exploring the role and relevance of culture in, and cultural representations within modern societies, with an aim to convey African stories through modern furniture and product design, and thereby sharing cultural and heritage stories through the furniture pieces we design, like I, Queen Nenzima Serva, pictured here, um, which pays homage to Queen Nenzima of the Mangbeti tribe in the DRC in the early 1900s. This unit's form, um, lines, textures are all inspired by the distinctive look of the elongated hairstyles of most of the Mambetu women at the time. This hairstyle resulted from the cultural practice of Lipombo, which was a status symbol amongst the Mambetu ruling classes at the beginning of the century. The chosen materials and colors used in the creation of this piece aid in its storytelling and references the inspiration behind it. Along with the elongated shape of the hairstyles accompanying the overall look was an oval or funnel shaped hair piece which ended in an outward halo, originally symbolic of high social status. This hairstyle was considered exceptionally attractive and powerful at the time. This piece is meant to convey pride and strength in African femininity. During the concept phase, we also explore, explored artifacts of, of the time from the same tribe and found weaving inspiration from Mangbetu woven and pattern shields. The outcome of juxtaposing all these elements from the hair formations, texture to the texture of the woven patterns um, from the shields against modern furniture silhouette resulted in this contemporary piece that continues to tell stories of heritage, pride, and craft of the Mangbeti people, as well as continue to inspire us by infusing our furniture with these pieces, um, with these stories. They become part of what we do and they become part of our clients as well. And they continue to get retold and connect people every time they get shared. When we share images of our furniture, we're not only sharing images of furniture, but we are continuously telling stories and sharing them with existing and new audiences. Our products are differentiated by the juxtaposition of abstracted cultural graphics, lines, forms, and techniques of making alongside elements of functionality and the look and feel of modern silhouettes. An example of that approach amongst many other collection inspired by Ndebele homestead art and graphic design. 
contrasted against the lines and silhouette design element of simplicity and an ode to materiality. As a studio, we're guided by the philosophies of craft, technique, collaboration, representation, and most of all, authenticity and design evolution, all while striving to create pieces that tell African heritage stories. This is what drives us. Why do we do what we do? We're driven by a set of certain beliefs. Most importantly, driven by the need to create furniture that is authentic to its source and inspiration, with a full understanding that there is a place and space for many stories inspired by the same sources. More than anything, while we, we believe in designing pieces that are more than just for functional furniture, our furniture acts or aims to act as avatars that facilitate connections, collaboration, representation, inclusivity, and more than anything, a celebration of this amazing continent. So how do we do what we do? It all begins with the story we are trying to tell. The how is determined by the initial inspiration. We take guidance from the inspiration and we use that as a direction for our work in terms of forms and textures. We're also influenced a lot by the conversations that are happening around us, both locally and globally. Conversations that we feel compelled to explore further and add our say to, to the collective voices. Once we've made a connection with a story, we then explore ways of telling said story through modern product design. This is further achieved through different material usage, colors, textures, fabric, and manufacturing techniques including using traditional craft methods in a contemporary way. Our 2018 African Crowns collection was inspired by the conversations that were taking place centered around natural African hair, both on a local and uh, a global stage. During that time, I started investigating traditional African hairstyles, which included the weaving techniques, as well as the curved structural forms and varied shapes and textures. An illustrati illustration of this um, is our custom decorative screens that we have collaborated and designed for retail, hospitality, and commercial spaces. In addition, during the same time that I, when I was working on my collection, um, other artisans and creators globally were adding to that conversation in their own beautiful way by creating, and we, we started creating this multi-layered story that connected all of us and drawing other people into this conversation. This further illustrates the essence of sharing cultural stories as a means of connecting with each other, even if we're on opposite sides of the globe. We still continue to draw inspiration um, in terms of the forms, shapes, and textures from the initial inspiration images for our African Crowns collection. And just as the conversation around beauty and the place for natural hair is still relevant now, we continue to tell that story through our woven pieces. As well as the organic forms um, and lines from the original inspiration ideas, circular shapes of the traditional hairstyles are evident in our range um, of new products. This has been seen, this has been done in a variety of materials resulting in products with a multitude of functions and mood. Those forms are the basis of newer products, such as, such as our social distancing screens, which have found homes um, worldwide. <laughs> Most cultural stories are passed down through storytelling. And we preserve those cultural tales by sharing them in our own unique ways. When these stories are retold from our point of view, they bear traces of ourselves in them, which means each person touched by those stories is automatically connected to the other. And this I find fosters an environment of understanding when we really start to see each other. And therein lies the value of continuing to share these stories. 
We have also many times discovered underlying similarities in certain aspects of different cultures that we've been researching. And not only does this facilitate a way to see ourselves in those stories, um, but to understand each other better. And the more stories we share, the more commonalities we might unearth. Our Ezi Kaza chair, Barstool, and our stacking trays were all inspired in part um, by the geometric shapes seen on Zulu earplugs worn in the 60s, initially, initially by uh, migrant mine workers in the mines of Johannesburg. These beautifully bold earplugs seem to me to be the most beautiful and audacious way to say, this is who I am, this is what I believe in. And I fell in love with that concept, this pride that these men and women wore these daring, distinct adornments with. Our Indabella collection launched in 2016 when we were starting out. It came about as a way of wanting to learn more about Ndebele cultural graphic art, which I fell in love with whilst studying. And perhaps this, it also appealed to my engineering left brain in its geometry and symmetry. The pieces from this range are derived from the patterns and line work of Ndebele art. And the collection is all about celebrating and wanting to share in the love of this vibrant culture and its people whose beautiful graphics I discovered were used to tell specific stories of the history of the Ndebele culture, as well as the ancestry, heritage, social standing by creating images of regional, cultural, and sometimes political identity. The most amazing thing that I had discovered in the end, uh, or that we found out, is that not only were the products that we created in this collection not only did they, were they enjoyed by people of Ndebele descent, but they managed to transcend culture, race, and geographic location. We have been connected with varying clients who have fallen in love with these pieces from Botswana to Los Angeles. This is a testament of the connection value of telling cultural stories. In late 2017, I then started working on the Crowns Collection. There seemed to be a global conversation on the topic of African hair. This topic is very personal to me as an African woman who has not always loved her natural hair and perhaps not known its magic. More than anything, it began as a way to look into discovering the beauty about my hair resulting in this visual love letter of furniture and homeware. More than a love letter, this collection is a social statement and a celebration of African feminine energy and spirit. In most African cultures, hair is sacred. It is never just about hair. It is tied to so many aspects of one's life, such as birth, death, and identity. In early African civilizations, hairstyles would indicate a person's family background, their tribe, and social status. What's more, many believed that hair, given its close location to the skies, was the conduit for spiritual interaction with God. This belief is the reason why hairstyling was entrusted to close relatives. People thought that if a strand of hair fell into the hands of an enemy, harm would come to the hair's owner. This is a story that my great grandmother also shared with me. Hair was also a symbol of fertility. If a person's hair was thick and long, it symbolized that one was able to be healthy children. <laughs> if someone were in mourning, they would pay very little attention to their hair, which is why in some cultures still today, when there is a death in the family, we cut our hair. Our African Crowns collection launched in 2018 was created to be a representation and celebration of the magic of African hair and its multitudes of natural states inspired by multiple cultures from across the continent. 
This collection, which includes seating, tables, planters, storage units, lighting and decorative objects features multiple elements from this well of inspiration. The elements included are, included are woven, fringe and braided textures that pay homage to the artistic hair crowns that inspired them. While working on this collection, I think I was always in awe of its magic with its gravity defying complex textural beauty. The designs are all given the names of the inspiring tribes, such as our Oromo chair, which is inspired by the hair of the Jima women of Oromo in East Africa. We now have an entire Oromo range inspired by the lines, form, and technique of weaving from the chair. And we are constantly exploring and pushing ourselves to learn more and reimagine the elements of the inspiration behind the chair, giving birth to more products. Another well-received favorite is our Nasara screen here, um, which was inspired by the form and textures of the fan-like hairstyle of the Nasara, a style of the Zande in the DRC in the early 1900s. The evident inspiration of this weaved fan-like look can be seen in our custom decorative screens that we have collaborated on with multiple designers, both here at home and globally, for Nando's restaurants. In the end, my personal hair love letter has, has been shared with so many people from across the world. People who have either seen themselves reflected or simply fallen in love with the stories and the pieces. This is why I started The Urban Native, to create work that reflected me and my heritage and to connect through the work I produce, to explore and challenge and celebrate. Because at the end of the day, a chair is a chair is a chair. And what differentiates one from the other is how the design makes you feel. Do you feel seen? Are you empowered? Do you feel challenged? So, in closing, as a metallurgical engineer turned furniture designer, I am truly humbled to belong to a global tribe of makers, creators, and thinkers who are creating work that endeavors to connect, teach, preserve, and celebrate our collective amazing cultures. And in the words of Paolo Coelho, culture makes people understand each other better. If they understand each other better in their soul, it is easier to overcome other barriers. Thank you.